one. There you go. All right. All right. So, good morning from our dining room this time. My wife has me totally discombobulated. We have moved. She said, she said, we can only do the porch on the weekends, and this has better light in here. Our, our so, house. I don't know. She's moving me around, and I'm just all discombobulated. I, I know I bought the water. I just had, I had to get like a regular We have lived in a very rustic home that is very dark on dark days, and I don't want it to feel dark because... It makes it sound like we live in a dungeon. <laughs> In our office, in my office at the tree farm, it's very bright. Yeah, that is very bright. It's very nice. I like lots of, if it were up to me, I would live in a, in a glass house. So we do, we might have these shadows here, right? Like, we do? Are we like shadows? I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. Good morning, Hi. Erica. Is that, are we echoey? We're not, we were a little nervous that we're going to be echoey, but I didn't want to sit outside. We're waiting so. for Erica to tell us. Three. She's watching. There's just that slight delay. Right? Awkward. Um, All right, so we're, we're, we're working from home today. We're trying to, uh, this is our day for our quarterly review. We, we do quarterly reviews on our business. Um, we figured this out a few years ago. We used to do the uh, Monday, what do they call it, Monday quarterback, where we'd, we would get to the end of the year and look at the numbers and go, huh, that's where it all went. Look at that. No wonder we're struggling. So, so we so uh, working at home today. So so, so evidently the, so the cure for the, the, evidently the cure for that is to work from home. So we're no. wearing our, our work at home clothes. So we figured out like mm -hmm. a few years ago we started doing it in at the beginning of the year we do everything and now we do quarterly where we look at this year we think it's even more important because we got thrown some big curveballs. So we think it's really important to stop and take uh, take stock of where we're at, what adjustments we need to make on the sales so that we can keep the ship going right. I can't see, we're so far back, I can't see. Hi, Mama. I know. See, you moved okay. it so far away, I can't read. Move, move it up and... Hang on, everybody, we're moving up. Um, Tara notice, doesn't like being a talking guy. You didn't notice that today was all black day. I know. You're, you, you're like, you're like hardcore today. You're like all in, like... like well, I've been, I, I, now, well, I, I just had to ride along yesterday and I was like, I'm, I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to talk, ready to talk. all right. For a guy, that's a weird statement. I all right. Know. So here so I am. So what does all black mean? That you're Johnny Cash. I am. And what does that mean? Oh, uh, we get music. We are you singing? What are we singing? We're, we're singing. Wait for right. it. This is a good song. So today's like a, a cloudy day. So Morning, Trish. If you, if you need a song to get you moving today, and then Josh is going to bring it. So get ready. So if you if you need a good song. That wasn't Johnny Cash moves, was it? <laughs> a good uplifting song this morning. So I'm going to start. Wednesdays are going to be black. Johnny Cash Day, and, okay. I'm, and I'm just gonna wait for the Lord to look like, cause I got Where dressed. Go? I know I got dressed this morning, and and I put on Johnny Cash, and I was you like, took oh, my yeah. phone with my notes on it too. All right, you ready? How do you play those? Hey, get a rhythm. Oh, actually, I did have it right. When you get the blues, come on, get a rhythm. When you get the blues, get a rock and roll feeling in your bones. That is a good one. Is that good? It's a great song. Um. It's actually about a shoe shine guy. If you're not a Johnny Cash fan, go look it up. It's called Get a Rhythm. It's Johnny oh, Cash. I need to tell Jennifer, thank you. Um, she says you look beautiful. Aww, you do look beautiful. thank you. You look very beautiful. Um, right? You look beautiful you. every day, but today, got the whole Johnny Cash thing going. Yeah, beautiful. yeah. When, so Wednesday, is today Wednesday? It is Wednesday, okay, you so got Wednesday. it right, babe. Wednesday is gonna be Johnny Cash Day. Um, What a great song, oh, though. Susan, that it's is a great song. It's a song about a, a guy that's shoe shining, and Johnny Cash is a shoe shine boy. Uh, the, kind of the person writing, or the- Singer. Um, the person telling the story. The person telling the story is asking. The narrator. The narrator. I was like, what there is you that go. Word? The, the narrator, narrator is go. asking why Morning, Debbie. the shoe shine guy is so happy, and he's like, he's he just got this big smile, and he's like, I just get a rhythm to do my job. Rhythm and do my thing. Isn't that so cool? I, I love that. That is very good. Right. Very poignant. All right. Feel All right. right. Now my, I've got you back. That's on my track. SAT word for the day. Poignant. Poignant. All yeah. right. All right. Okay. So, so lead, babe. Bring it. Wow. No pressure. <laughs> All right, this has been on my heart for like a while, a while now, for several days. Uh, I've been wanting to talk to you about this. So I want everybody to, to take a minute and imagine something, okay? Like legit, like sit like here. close your eyes. Oh, I can't close my eyes, I have to read the people coming Okay, well, I'm gonna close my eyes, I want you all to close so, your eyes. Everybody close your eyes and imagine. So close your eyes for a minute and imagine it's six months from now. And it's, so that puts us into fall. It's starting to cool down a little bit and you're walking through a back gate at a house and you can smell the grill going and you come around the corner and there's people there. And just hold that thought for a minute. And we're gonna come back to it because 
the thing that's about, so y'all know my hair. Okay, you got, can, you can open your eyes. Yeah, open your eyes now because, <laughs> well, you wouldn't want to miss us for sure. Yeah. Good morning, uh, Sue. Hey, y'all know I've been having hair troubles because <laughs> my wife was supposed to watch a YouTube video. I'm and a She was going to watch it. And, and then she, you know, she goes back. She goes, well, maybe he would look good with long hair. Read in parentheses, I'm scared. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> She's yeah. afraid that I'm going to end up looking like what one of the Beatles or because something. Because Evie Kate uses all the scissors in our house for random stuff. She used them to cut her own hair, and she did a great oh, job. This is true. Okay. So, then anyways, let Evie cut it. the thing that came to me when we were doing that was, oh, we could do a before and after picture, mm -hmm. and that got me thinking really, really hard about before and after pictures. Because there's there's a couple kinds of before and after. At first, I I, I, I zoned in on the. Hey, mom. Uh, uh, morning, Chris. At first, I, I zoned in on the before and afters because you always have that, oh, here was my ugly, ratty hair before, and now look at this after picture where I look so great and everything else. Or here's this house, you know, the flippers do the thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, here's what it looked like before. It was just, you know, rat infested and yeah. terrible. And now look at it, and they, you know, and they sell it for a million dollars. Hey, Amber. But hey, it's, Jason. It's, uh, I got, was thinking about those, I'm like, oh my gosh, before and after pictures, you know, that, they, they really tell a big story. But then I was like, well, there's another kind of before and after that you don't think about as much. It's like those before and afters, like, here's where this magnificent building stood before the hurricane came through, mm -hmm. and now there's a foundation. Or here's what this looked like before this dramatic thing happened, the flood happened, uh, Katrina came through, and you see those before and after pictures, and it was just really on my heart uh, to talk about before and afters because this is the first time in our lives actually since since World War II this is the first time we can say everybody's got an after like we've had things happen I mean there's the Josh before he was married Josh after he's married there was us before we had kids there was us after we had these all these individual things and even yeah. by country there was all these individual uh, Events that happen that demark, you know, before and afters for those things. First time in all of our lives, unless you're old, old older, <laughs> which you're probably not listening to this if you're, well, you might be. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I see. No, Jason Bates is pretty young. Um, it's the first time that we're all going to be like, boom, everything from here forward is going to be an after. Yeah. Okay, so. Our lives will never be the same. No, okay, and, and so a statement we've been hearing people say is, well, when we get back to normal, when we get back to normal, when we get back to normal, and I, I am here to tell you, I truly, we're not getting back to normal. There, there's not going to be back. We're not going back to anything. Right. So it's going to be a matter of hey Brad, what is what is what is, what is going to be the new? What are we going to do with it? So what kind of before and after picture do we want to have? Alarm. Um, I have put my mind to, and it's my mindset that I'm going to have one of those pretty before and afters. I'm not going to have this, uh, what am I looking for? This drastic or this devastating before and after. I want, I want to do the, well, at minimum, I want to be like, well, he was a little bit better. You know, I, I can see a change, not this, oh my gosh, they had this before and they were doing good and they had it going and they had the beautiful marriage and the beautiful family and they were doing so good and now just look at them. What a mess. It's like, mm -mm, no, I, I don't want that. I don't want to have that kind of a before and after. It's on my heart to have uh, a great one. And so a quote that came to me, or that not came to me, that I found and wanted to share with y'all because I love good quotes. Uh, it, this is from Viktor Frankl. And anybody who hasn't read um, uh, Man's Search for Meaning, Viktor Frankl was a uh, prisoner in multiple concentration camps. Uh, during the war and wrote this book and he had a quote that says when we are no longer able to change a situation we are challenged to change ourselves yeah and that really hit me because uh we've been harping on mindset having the role model mindset having that um what are we going to do with it we can curl up and watch netflix and, and i want y'all to hear me right now <laughs> guys for for reals here it is okay to be upset it's okay to take a moment when you start taking a month, yeah. moment's over. Like that, that's too long of a moment. Now, now you're stuck. So I, I like to watch a good show. I like to hang out. I like to sit on the back porch with my wife and I used to have a glass of wine, but now <laughs> she's out for a month. 20, 22 <laughs> more days. So, so I like all those things. All those things are fun and are actually be careful. Be warned that like you can't get into that permanently. So I, I want to encourage you, like I read that and I was like, okay, 
what does that look like? So I'm trying to think, for me, what does that look like? And so, so I started picturing where I was going to be in six months. Where do I want to be in six months? And sometimes I can be a little dramatic. I'd be like, we're going to do all this stuff. And I'm already very proud of some of the stuff we've done mm -hmm. and some of the things we're doing. I, today was my third day without coffee, and I have not died. <laughs> Much to my surprise. It is very weird to not make coffee in the morning. So I walk by the morning, coffee Jamie. pot and we actually have a sign that sits by our coffee pot. It's a Sean McConnell lyric and y'all know how much I love lyrics. And it says, how about a pour, how about a pour in your, in your coffee, coffee cup? cup? And I'm like, oh, that makes me so, so sad. So there's no coffee in the Richards house. We just lost all our coffee drinking friends. Right? So we're like, yeah, yeah we're out. Yeah. So... I, I, so, it, so there's, okay, I was like, disclaimer, we did not drop coffee because we think there's anything wrong with no. caffeine. Caffeine has great benefits, and it, it so was just, sweet. it's one of those things that... We're trying, and I may go we, back to it. I don't know. Put in our, same thing with not drinking wine. Believe me, on May 1st, I'll probably celebrate for not having wine <laughs> the whole month of April. It's to prove By to having myself... having wine the whole month of yeah. May. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, Somebody brought us our favorite bottle of wine last night, and I was uh, like, oh, hey, Bill. great. Show. Freak show. Oh, I yeah, saw that. I was like, so oh, that's freak show. Um, it's not, that's a it's not freak because show. we think there's anything wrong with wine or caffeine. It's because we're picking one thing to we're prove trying. to ourselves that we can. That we're in charge of our own lives. What can we control? These are the things we can control. Right. So, what I was saying about it, and I, that was why I wanted to put that out there. It's like all the feels, all the things you're feeling, the oh my gosh, this is overwhelming, all this. Legit. Legit. Here was my thought is. Kids throw tantrums, kids do that. Feelings are feelings. Feelings are a marker to tell you, you need to figure out what you need to do to improve your situation so that, you know, while I am feeling anxious about this, yeah. what, what do I need to do about it? Not, oh, you know what I need to do is I need to grab a carton of ice cream and sit back and, and, yeah. and dwell on this. No, no. It's like, again, you know, take some time. Take a moment. Take a pause. That's good. Don't take a month-long pause or two months long. We don't know exactly how long this is going. So make sure that you're not getting stuck. So I started thinking, where do I want to be in a month or, or in six months? And I was thinking about the before and after picture. So I closed my eyes. I was thinking, in six months, it'll be fall. And I love fall. Love spring, love fall. And you walk in. So everybody go back with me now. You come right. around the corner. Everyone close your eyes. Everyone so, close your eyes. So you walk in you, and you come through the back gate because they're friends. You, you know them and you know they're already in the back. So you walk through the back gate and you can smell them. You can smell cooking and you come around the corner and there's more people there than usual. And that kind of strikes you and you realize, oh my gosh, everybody hasn't gone to go do something. They're not all, they haven't all decided, let's go back to all the things that kept us from getting together and being friends. And these are neighbors that you recognize now, neighbors that you actually know their names now. Friends that you finally get to hug their necks now. Friends that you can be right up against and shake hands and be right around. So you get up in there and you're right around them and you're smelling everything and you look at yourself, you're like, you're standing, this is one of those where I'm standing outside myself looking at, and I know that sounds weird. But you look at yourself and you're like, you have that look. And, and these are people that you've been encouraging and they're telling you how much they appreciated the encouragement and how happy they are. And you see people that you know made good steps forward. And some of them made huge leaps forward. Some of them kept the ball moving forward. And they're all there, you know, at this barbecue. And you're looking at yourself and you put your arm around your wife or your friend and you look and go, hey, my arms look a little bit better than they used to look. <laughs> They're a little Some bit more cut. Going. My hair, my hair looks a little bit better. But mostly, you can see that spirit that you've got. You know that you stood and you did a good job. You know you didn't retreat. You're surrounded by people that did the same. And right there, that's when you take the after picture. Yeah. And you go, this is what I did. I did not retreat. I did not curl up in a ball. I did not have all the answers. I did not do anything. I got up every day and took a bath. Start, start there. I washed the dishes today. I made sure the kids were fed today. And start there and move it forward. We've talked about grand things sure. like, we've talked to show up. We've talked about grand things like, you know, learn new skills and be ready for jobs. And, I, I, and you're going to hear us preach on that for a while about you need to be skilling up and doing this stuff. Show up. First, I want you to show up. Show up and get out of bed. Get the stuff done. Yeah. Quit, quit the, quit the being down, and take the first step. Send the text out to friends. I, I'm a huge believer. If you want to feel better, 
Say something positive to someone else. Encourage someone else. It helps. I guarantee it. Right now, we're home because I have a team that does everything. They pull so hard for us to encourage us. Oh my gosh, what a blessing. So y'all, think about your, I want y'all to really think about what, what is your after picture going to be like? Are you going to do one of those cool before and afters like, she looked like this and now look, she's, she's a little more fit and a little more happy and a little less stressed with all the places they're running to because I've decided, I'm, even if you said tomorrow, hey, right now, you can go right back to where you were, 100% normal. I'm out. I'm not doing it. I'm out. I'm not doing it. There's been things that have happened that I'm like, I know all of my neighbors now. I see so many people out walking and waving and talking at a safe distance. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm okay, not Okay, it was so awesome last night driving home and just seeing all the movement in the neighborhood. It, you couldn't turn a street where there wasn't three or four families walk, at, walking yeah, as families. Yeah. We, had, we had dinner together last night. It's back on my heart. I'm going to have at least three dinners a week with my family. That is a goal for me in six months. I want to be having three meals a week at the table with my family. Those are kind of goals. We're going to push y'all and push y'all and push y'all to set big goals and be moving your dreams forward and be doing the best for yourself. But start. Show up today. And make maybe write down a couple things that like in six months I want my after picture to look like this. Yeah. I, I want this to be in my after picture. This is a person I want in my after picture. And I want to make sure I have a certain look. I want to make sure that I can say I did these things. You know, yeah. I, I helped. I helped, I encouraged, I didn't survive. I thrived through this, I pushed people and I brought them with me. Yeah. So and, work on your after And I was gonna say, so like Josh said, we're, we're at home today to do our quarterly review and quarterly planning. So in January, we, we take Who's a turn off. Um, so in January, we take off between Christmas and New Year's and we spend days and days and days um, coming up with our word for the year together. And then just looking at where, what do we want to I'm do? I'm sorry, guys. Like the cat is jumping in and out of a box or something over here. I'm like, what is all that? Um, you know, but the, all the, <laughs> we, we, what do we want to do with our kids this year? What do we want to do with each other this year? What do we want to do with our business this year? And what do we want to do? You're so tactical. Something. I know. I'm sorry. You no, know, you're good. Well, but so my, my point is, well, but you're, no, it was beautiful. You have yeah. me off. Oh, you're so amazing. Um, but so in January we sit down and we do that and we used to do it once a year and then we did it once a quarter now we do it once a month and then we do like a big overview once a quarter and so yesterday well a couple days ago I think I shared that when I saw it on the calendar that it was our quarterly review time I was like are we gonna do that and Josh yeah, was, like, she was doing that I was like because it was on the calendar already because we had said yeah, it in January because you know the world's upside down right? <laughs> right and he's like well yeah why wouldn't we and I kind of laughed and I was like what are we reviewing like the world flipped upside down and he goes no we're gonna review like how did we show up what did we accomplish and what do we need, how do we need to, to adjust our sales Hi, to go forward? And so yesterday when we were preparing our team, like we're a little nervous to leave just because we know we're putting a lot on them. The whole flipping our, our business model to online curbside pickup and our customers that are coming in. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. I mean, it's our, a lot. And it's spring. Yeah. Our, and, our and people are working yeah. five times as hard as they normally God do. Them. They're yeah. so so we were nervous about leaving and so I was I was talking to our um, our nursing manager and he's like don't worry about it we got it so like we set the plan for today and he goes do y'all have like a crystal ball that y'all are going to look in to plan <laughs> for the next three months and I'm like no but what I do know is where we are and so then we'll sit down and I mean we have our, our family values which is friends oh, family and faith and then we have our business values which is inspire educate and serve so today we sit down and go, okay, Are we doing these? did we do these things over the last three months? Even though the world threw us like a big freaking curveball, some days punch in the gut, right? Did we show up? And then how are we going to adjust ourselves for the next three what months? Like, what does it look like? Right. So, you know, even, okay, like, let's talk about date night. Like, I talked to a friend of mine on Texas. <laughs> I talked is, to is my date night? A friend, his date night. Yes. It's gonna look different, right? Normally, we're, I mean, yeah, you we guys get, know, get dressed up and we get out. dressed up, we go to concerts, and it's like, so last oh, week, um, last week we did oh, date night on the porch with Max Stalling and Heather um, Stalling, God love But him. tonight is, uh, so our church, Fellowship of the Parks, I don't know what it looks like, but they're doing an online date night, and the, 
And one of the neatest things, of course, we've talked about the technology that's come out of this, yes. and like we're connecting with our friends that live in Connecticut. Morning, so our friends that live in Connecticut are friends with one of the, because he's a pastor, so he's friends with a pastor at our church. So when we had dinner with them on Monday night on Zoom, Kenny was like, hey, are you guys doing date night on Wednesday with your church? And I was like, oh my gosh, we are. So they're doing it from Connecticut. They're doing it from <laughs> Connecticut. We're doing it here. So you guys just go to FOTP.com, I think. No, it's, F uh, it's FOTP dot church just dot google org. fellowship, fellowship of the park she'll find it and it'll Ch be on chuck there. is cringing he when he watches this he's been <laughs> like know. really guys you don't know the address it's in my browser i just yeah. stop typing and it pops up chuck yeah i'm sorry but no no it's, i'm just <laughs> saying i mean like josh is saying it's it's you know it's where do we want to be like we have to keep being intentional and we have to keep showing up and, and i shared with a friend of mine on text this morning you know it's like like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this. Like Josh is gonna oh, die. I'm just gonna say fun it. When she tells you, oh, like, you and I don't know if you can say this word on Facebook. So intimate relationships with your partner. Oh wow. Okay. Don't, you just took a huge wait, laugh. Don't wait until this is over. Don't wait until the kids aren't home. Don't wait until you <laughs> feel we're all like it. Because we're, I mean, it, yo, we are where we are. So whatever you have to do today. To make your partner a priority. Stuff off screen and you're about to make blush. I know. It's like marriage is so freaking important to us. So whatever you have to do to prioritize your partner today, make it a date night. Wednesday nights are date night for us. So make it a date night. I have missed it. When, uh, date night used to be Thursday night. Thursday night. With the change in our schedule, we're doing Wednesday. So is that like a line? Is that like a shadow? Do you see that? That's where the that's where the text is scrolling up. That's the text. Oh. Text. <laughs> it's okay, baby. Just just. Um, Focus. But, so when we're making <laughs> Wednesday night date night, and it's like it's on the calendar. We're still showing up. I don't know how many years I I had in this book club because date night was a priority, and and I didn't want to change it because that's what worked for us. I beat out books. Like Look at me. show up, show up for your spouse. Your sure. kids need you. Our generation has marriages falling apart all oh. around us, all around us. Yeah. So. Show up for your partner. Because we were talking about, we've been spinning plates. Everybody spins plates. We were yeah. spin, we've been spinning the business one real good. We have not been spinning the marriage one or the kids one so good. Yeah. So we're we're pivoting. Pivot yeah. pivot number eight thousand four hundred thirty-two. And I'll be pivot. super honest. I was terrified. He was so much better than me yesterday. I almost canceled our planning meeting today because I was so afraid to leave our business and leave our team. Not worried about to our have team. to do all our that stuff practice. and. I was like, you know what? I just, I have to trust God. I mean, if we can keep our business going with the world flipped upside down right now, then, we're gonna go. then we can take a day off and we have to reset and set plans and bring like the plan to our team so that they have a purpose to show up every single day. Yep. So show up. That's not what show up. What do you got there? Bring the joy. Bring, bring the joy. Show up. There you go. Show up and bring the joy. And y'all, please do share us. We, we're trying to we're trying to spread joy to everybody. We do still have calla lilies to spread the joy, so come get your calla lilies. And what, do you know what we're doing tomorrow? Do you have a plan? I don't. Okay. I have, we're going to plan we today. Gonna, we are going to come up with something for tomorrow. We will be here every day, guys. We're here to spread a little joy, uh, support y'all, try to give y'all, tell y'all what we're doing. If you have questions of how are y'all doing this, how are you doing this? Send it to us. We, we love to help. That's what we're here for. Yeah. And we have, we actually have an email. It is, like seven, is, eight, what is our email? Joyful at more than a tree farm .com. joyful oh. at more than a tree farm .com. I like it so if you have prayer requests or ideas or things that you know if we mention things that we do and you're like well how do you do how that do you do that i need more specifics yeah. just so ask us and ask us uh, obviously time. like we'll tell you anything <laughs> right obviously <laughs> thank you for the heads up on that you're welcome all right we well, all have a great day be blessed and we will see y'all tomorrow love you guys <laughs>